In this video I'll show you how you can use a DZTEL to create a vignette that looks less digital and why the classic method using masks in DaVinci Resolve is often not ideal. The difference is easiest to see with a neutral grey background and the waveform view. First I will show you the vignette edge DZTEL. This tool is made to darken just the edges of the image in a subtle natural way very similar to how real lenses behave. This is what it looks like on a waveform. Now for comparison I'll try to recreate the same falloff using a mask in DaVinci Resolve. This time on the left side. As you can see masks don't let you control the shape of the falloff directly. It always follows a kind of S-curve and that's exactly what makes this kind of edge darkening look digital and artificial. In the first clip I am applying the vignette edge DZTEL on the right side and on the left side I have added a gradient using the standard DaVinci Resolve mask. The differences may seem small but to me they really matter, especially in workflow based on film emulation. You want to avoid anything that looks too digital. Besides the edge-based version, there is also a classic vignette DZTEL. It gives you more control than the built-in vignette in the Film Look Creator tool, including separate X and Y offset controls, adjustable shape, control over aspect ratio. Vignettes are a subtle but powerful tool in color grading. They help guide the viewer's attention. By darkening the edges of the image, the eye is naturally drawn to the center. Almost every modern film or series uses vignettes. Sometimes more obviously like in the show Severance. And even if the vignette is hard to see in the image, it shows up clearly in the waveform monitor. The brightness at the edges drops slightly. I used to create vignettes using masks, but now I don't recommend that at all. It's very hard to make them look natural. The transition from light to dark often looks fake or technical. The built-in vignette tools in DaVinci Resolve are also very limited. You can try a free demo version of both tools on my website. It's fully functional, just with the watermark, so you can test it on your own footage and see how it fits into your workflow. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Have a great day and see you in the next video.